Hey guys, welcome back. My name's Stu, and this is scenario four, episode six of the VJ scenario pack. Compound park. We need 300,000 park value by the end of October, year four. It's July, year three, and we've got a park value of 208,000. So around 100,000 park value to go. We're currently researching roller coasters. In the first few parts, we only had we were only building what we had already unlocked at the start. So a lot of flat rides, the side friction coaster, wild wooden mine train. Ooh, tons of sick. Side friction coaster, steeple chase. I've been weaving in some other rides as well. I wanted to try and aim for as many rides down as possible. Let's hire a load of handyman, just chuck them down. We've we've already got one zone to that area, but Let's hire a lord more and just leave them wander around aimlessly. Mopping up, brushing sick. Why would you brush sick? Surely a mop would be a much better sick gathering instrument. Okay, so I believe right at the end of the last episode where we built this twister originally it was way too intense the guests wouldn't ride it so we kept just dialing it back dialing it back until eventually they would right at the end of it we achieved what is possibly the holy grail and we won the best park toilets award every time i've been putting down a kiosk on corners i've been putting down toilets we've got tons of toilets now you need a minimum of four and then after that then it's a it's a ratio of guests per toilet. Um, so we've won that. So we are going to get a boost of guests coming through. What coasters do we have unlocked now? We've unlocked. We've still got that. That was unlocked at the start. Um, I do have a design for that that I built on my 4444 subscriber special, which is a 4 by 4 design, I think. If we beat the scenario quite comfortably, maybe we could spam a load of those in like a, I say spam a load, maybe four, um, just to show how much value they would add. Um, cause we are going to beat it. I would have thought quite comfortably considering the rides that we do have left. We've got a looping course that we've just unlocked a stand up twister. We just unlocked a lay down coaster and an air powered vertical coaster. So let's just okay i know from on the last video i was a little surprised that i didn't have as many handymen as i probably should have so let's just let's zone one on all the coasters before we begin because they are the, going to be the big money makers so if they are out of action, I'm not earning as much money. And then since we've got tons of cash, let's just have a couple of them wandering around as well. Quick check of the profit circus and friction so we've already lowered the price of that on the last video it's not making money at the moment because it's not operating um i suppose the easiest thing to do would be to build an air powered coaster but they're just so ugly um think what about a looping coaster um let's put it down there and let's go for a chain lift just to make it a bit more interesting than if if we just had it with a, a powered launch
Cool. So at the back then, let's turn off scenery. We'll do a break run there, just something to aim for. Let's not go that way because I don't want to have to move the brake run. What about if we low? No, wrong way. Now, if you are struggling with park value, I would suggest not to mess around with landscaping and things like that. Or if you were struggling with cash, don't mess around. Keep it simple. Make sure you get the goal. Then mess around. But since I'm not struggling with either the value or the goal, Let's just go nuts. Just want to try and aim now for the brake run.
two trains, that'll be fine. Ram the price up. Give it a save, change the letter. I don't know why I do 001. I do it. It's just something that I did probably when I first started playing this game about probably about 20 years ago now. And and it's just one of those things that you that you get stuck with. Or when I first started playing Transport Tycoon or something, some other game where I would play multiple games and do multiple saves and it would just be an easy way of making sure I didn't overwrite things. And we'll call it, give it some sort of generically sounding name. Perfect. What have I done there with that? That's where we are, isn't it? I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll wait till the stats come back first, then I'll change that bit there. So I'm going to wait. If you can see, there's a bit of a weird. It's not going to make any difference to the stats. Or if it does, it's going to be so small as to make no difference. But it just looks ugly. Okay, stats are great. We can go in, we can change that there. So we can flatten it, bank it, and then down, bank, and there you go. Much better. Open it straight up. Tell you what we could have done or what we should have done is put a first aid room near that one. There you go. Safest park in the country. We've current oh only the two. Thought we might have been on three then. Let's put that there. Let's get the merch down. There is a video in the tutorial section where I go into more detail on the awards and I also aim to um, get all four awards or four awards at the same time. There are more than four awards obviously but you can only win four at a time. Um, Let's just do something very simple for the for the station. Let's do something to break it up. So let's do
right other stats come back yes value 247 oh there you go another couple of roller coasters and we'll be fine What am I doing? That's not where the scenery is. The scenery is in here. Just randomly select where the windows are going to go. Randomly delete path by mistake and fix it. So to do to play scenery, it is fiddly to get it at the right height level. So select what you want, press it down randomly on the floor somewhere, click the up arrow, so the middle cog turns into a hairpin, hair, hairpin a um, crosshairs like that. Click it, click the item you want to match the height of, and then you can pop it in just there. Remember to rotate as well to make sure that everything is lined up where you actually want it to be. Let's just put that there. We can do um no we don't need that do we let's just do a little do the same roof there but we're going to rotate it and i tell you what i could have done i was thinking of doing a roof that's why i didn't do it on this one but um if you look at that now and then so let's just do that and then get the right height so it's rotated slightly there you go i think it looks better like that it's just a little detail just makes it look a little nicer i think you do what you want to do and Cool. So, since we've got plenty of time left, I'm aiming, I think, as a good rule of thumb, the video length seems to be best if I work sort of uh, March to around June, July, and then um, the rest of the year then. Seems to work out as a decent video length file size. Actually, that can go fries. They can charge two for that. Tentacles. Mmm, tentacles. Can't think of anything better. Actually, I can think of something better, which is the turkey leg covered, no, the pretzel covered turkey leg, which I should have been gorging myself on in SeaWorld. Until I was so rudely interrupted by... illnesses and such cool awesome so we're into october we've now we're now starting to build the cool coasters we're unlocking some big boys as well um 
these are easy to get because what we want is you want coasters with decent stats or rides in general with decent stats because those are what are going to give you the value why click on that that's the nearest one to it where is he over there okay he can't get over there i think what i'm going to have to do is i'm going to have to zone handymen to these areas because this path system whilst it seems to work okay for for guests no one's complaining about being lost and stuck it's not been very good for for workers what i could do is i could run a path from one lane to the next put no entry signs on it so guests can't go up and down them but staff can but i think what i'll do is i will just go around and zone these but i'll do that off camera because no one really wants to see that okay so quick recap then before we end the video we need three hundred thousand. it's going to start raining so good job i didn't do the outro just now so we need three hundred thousand we've got 246 so only about 50 something thousand to go i don't envisage us having any real problems getting that it's running on fast forward so let's get the sun out how much money are we making off umbrellas five thousand last month cool getting the big bucks awesome cool so this was episode six of scenario four my name's Stu. if you enjoyed the video please like and subscribe and i'll see you next time bye <laughs>